so welcome back students to one more session of your nomenclature with general organic chemistry right what what we we learn we have learned the different rules for naming or uh, different rules to be followed while naming a given compound that right? then i have taught you <coughs> what is uh, the order of preference given to functional groups so what what the first one we said uh, carboxylic acids so we also said uh, carboxylic after carboxylic acid the least preference is given to ethers i also included function groups like alkyl phenyl halogens that is chloro bromo iodine all these are always taken as a substituents right so please uh, watch the earlier video and then come back to this so now in today's video we'll be seeing how should we name or how should we give near or write the nomenclature for or the iupac nomenclature for haloalkenes now so haloalkenes after all we'll be covering haloalkenes I'll be covering alcohols. I'll be covering aldehydes, ketones, carboxylic acids, isocyanides, cyanides, and hydrocarbons also. Now, I hope you have watched the rules, students. Please watch the previous video, understand the rules, and then start doing. Fine. So, when such compound is given to us, right? So uh, careful. Here we have the alkyl group as well as double bond also. So I said you have to be careful in naming this. So always, I said halogens like bromo, chloro, all these are taken as substituents only. Yeah? Right. So here, when I have to count longest chain, I have to see, isn't it? So let's see. One, two, three, four. Right. I said you should take this as a substituent only. Four and five. See here. Right. So. Five carbons, so this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four, and this is five. Done. So according to the alphabetical order, first I have to take bromo, then I have to take methyl, isn't it? Right? Yes, this group, which is there the third carbon. So let us name this. Always start off with the according to the alphabetical order after numbering. Next step, alphabetical order four bromo. Then third position you have. 3 methyl and what is the parent atom 5 isn't it pent then at the second carbon you have double bond so 2 dash in right and let us name this so here common name is what it is nothing but alkyl bromide or uh, uh, for this common name if i have to write the iupac because i'm writing all iupac name isn't it so alkyl bromide because alkyl groups but now it is common name iupac name <coughs> i said this will be taken as a substituent correct so number it one two three so according to the alphabetical order this is three bromo propene or propanine or propene now when i take this how should i name this here in this particular uh, carbon you have three chlorine groups present three you have to take you have to take that as a substituent so what is the parent chain 1 2 3 4 it's but so how do you name this trichlorobutane trichlorobutane done now let's come back and do some more this is not there let us do some more here again um, i think uh, we have uh, taken the repetition of this but not there this is a different one again here you have a substituent bromine I said they should be taken as a substituent but careful you have to see the longest parent chain and yes so first of all what is the longest parent chain if I have to count one two three four four so which posi which uh, position is bromine is present in the first carbon one two three four so name it one bromine two methyl but to in because but means four carbons the second position double bond is there now next one if i have to name this compound right just see here you have three uh, in the earlier case you had the three chlorine atoms here you here you have two chlorine atoms so first of all you have to see the parent chain isn't it so one two three four but 
you have to see which is given preference now. I said this is taken as substituent. So alkene should be given preference, isn't it? 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. Done. So 1, uh, how should you name this? At the 4th position, 4, 4, there are 2 chlorine, dichloro. Okay, but. So if it is 1, you can but 1 in or you can directly write butene. Not a problem. Now let us name this. Okay, this is wrong. I have crossed it off. This comes in the ether example. Done. Here you have three alkyl groups. But you have to see what is the pairing chain. Here there are no double bonds. If they have, if you have a double bond, then comes your, uh, uh, you will name it later. But here you don't have double bond. So start numbering it. One, two. Now already three carbons are there. Isn't it? Means that is your propyl group. But how can I divide this? One as the methyl group and two more as substituents. So now name it 1 bromo 2 comma 2 and the second one two alkyl groups are present this is one like this this is one like this 2 comma 2 dimethyl propane done yes students hmm. now let's come back and see the next one that is nomenclature of alcohols phenols and ethers also so alcohol very well know B N means uh, the particular uh, function group is all means the suffix which you add is all for the earlier ones in in like that we've added so for alcohols it is all let us see now when such compound is given to you okay let's see here I come I have combined alcohols phenols and ethers as I told you ethers is denoted by double bond O and here alcohols by OH and phenol by C6H5 means phenol is C6H5OH. So here when is the given what is this group functional group? This is an ether which is present. Now remember you have to name it in such a way that first I said you should have the parent chain ready first always. Then you'll go with the substituents. Right? Now let us see how it is. So here <coughs> one, two, three, four. Okay, yeah, now is it right? Mm, one, two, three. Okay, so this is wrong, isn't it? I should not go like this. I have to take uh, in this way. How? This is one, this is two, this is three, this is four. This is right. Why? Because this one you considering as a substituent, so that will come, I mean, so that will be given the first preference. The ether, this group is given the first preference. That carbon is given the first preference. So this becomes. 3 methyl okay this is how many four carbons so it is but so whenever you have ether you will name it as butoxy and what is this benzene 3 methyl butoxy benzene now let's see this example again <coughs> there is a cyclo group here there is an ether so whenever there is oxygen means that is O. you will take as oxy here also I can use oxy Correct. Now, let us number this. So, this is a cyclohexane ring, isn't it? Six carbon atoms. So, let me finish off the parent chain as cyclohexane. Now, where are the, this? Where is the ethoxy group present? It is present in the C here. This is C2. Don't get confused. It is like basically this one is like CH2, CH3. So, first carbon, second carbon to that oxygen is present. So, oxy group is which one? Second. So, this is. 2 ethoxy right and this is uh, okay uh, let me take another way I should take like this 1 and 2 okay this is how you should justify this 1 and 2 okay. so the second carbon you have oxy so this one is combined together this I should take it as first 1 and 2 so the second carbon you have 2 ethoxy 1 comma 1 dimethyl cyclohexane okay right now alcoholic group let us see this I said whenever uh, there is a function group present right so <clears throat> how should you number one two this is three yes this is two methyl three carbon atom probe three all 
so let us name this you have carbon <coughs> which is tertiary here but it is it has four carbons that's but but tertiary but not a problem but when i have to take the longest chain right i have to see that isn't it so let us number that one two three so in the second position you have methyl two methyl so when i take this one this becomes two methyl and then it becomes prop one two three only propan to all correct students hope it is clear i am going very slowly please try to understand how to do once you understand the concept any type of naming you can just opt for now so let us see some more examples this is done let us go with one more so here they they give me two alcohols two alcoholic function groups but the num the parent chain is 1 2 3 so it is propan 1 2 diol done let's see how to number this is one line structure so again you have okay diol because there are two alcoholic groups di means two ol means two alcoholic groups now in this particular one i have to name it but you have to be careful here which is this group this is a vinyl group isn't it double bond so here this vinyl group let us number this 1 2 This is three. This is four. This is fourth one. Fifth. So in the third position, three vinyl pentan. One comma at the first position. At the fifth position, you have diols. One comma five. diol then there should be a comma between numbers let us name this here in this case first of all what is the parent chain 1 2 3 4 now you should uh, have which one to name now alkyne is also there alcohol also is there as i have given in the preference always alcohol is given first preference than this 1 2 3 4 so the parent chain is but so it is but Two in the second one, two ine because it is alkyne. One all because it is first position alcohol. Done. Suppose if such compound is given to you, how to name this? This is a carbon which has four different four groups, isn't it? Right. So what are these groups? You have hydroxy group as well as methyl group also attached. Correct. Yes. Now see here how to write. One, two, three, four. So you call it as tetrakis. What? What are there? They are hydroxy methyl groups. Hydroxy methyl and one carbon atom. So it is methane. Let us see some more ether. So as soon as you see this, you have to remember it is ether. Now you have methyl group and ethyl group. So you name give it as methoxy. Ethane. Let us see the tenth one. First parent chain. As soon as you see this, you have to see the parent chain. One, two, three, four. Right, right. Let us see from here. One, two. I should not count like this because ethoxy group is there. So one, two, three, four. Okay, right. So right. Let's see. How should I name this? Suppose if I take from here one, two, three, four. Okay, now I can. This is correct, isn't it? So you can write it as two ethoxy butane. Let's go with this phenol group. This is a benzene ring. There are two alcoholic groups, so we call it as diols. So this is called as benzene. One comma two diol, or this is also called as catechol. Here again benzene one and three. See here this is one, two, three, four, five, six. Here again one, 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But here the fun, uh, alcoholic group is presented 1, 2. That's why we written 1, 2. Now it is presented as 1, 3. Same thing. Now we call it as benzene. Which position is the alcoholic group? It is present in 1, 3 diol. So when it is in, present in the third carbon, we call it as resorcinol. When it is position in the second, present in the second carbon, we call it as catechol. When it, when it is present in the third carbon, we call it as resorcinol. Done. Now let's come back to this. Now it is present in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, fourth position. So again write it as benzene, 1, 4, diol. And this is called as hydroquinone. Hydroquinone. Right students, done. So this is the nomenclature of your alcohols, phenols and ethers as well as hydroalkenes. I will come back and meet you with the next nomenclature that is with aldehydes. Thank you for watching. Stay connected.